Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write java program to generate multiplication table so guys in this program we will learn how do we generate the multiplication table of a given number that is entered by the user we can easily use the for loop or else we can also use the while loop in java in order to print the multiplication table of the entered number so for example let's say if the user enters the number that is 5 so the multiplication table will look like this that is 5 multiplied by 1 it is 5 5 multiplied by 2 it is 10 and so on all the results should get displayed so guys this is the java program that we are going to write in order to get this kind of input over here so let us move to the eclipse id over here and the very first thing that we will do is we will declare a variable that will be the integer number now this number will be entered by the user so we have to ask the user to enter the number in order to find the multiplication table of so over here we will say enter number for multiplication table and then user will enter this number so over here we will be using our scanner class in order to take the input from the user which is one of the easiest way in order to take the input from the user on the console so over here we have the new scanner and then in the parenthesis we will be having the system dot in so that the user is able to provide the input on the console over here now this input will be taken by using the sc object so we have sc followed by dot and then we have something called as next int over here so guys this is the method that is next int which is responsible in order to take the input from the user now once this input is taken from the user on the console we have to assign it to this number variable so we can simply provide this number variable over here followed by equal to operator so this line of code will help us in order to assign the entered number to this number variable over here now we simply have to print the multiplication table so how do we print that so we are simply going to have the for loop and then we will have int i it is going from 1 up to we want the numbers up to 10 so it will be i less than or equal to 10 in this case and then we have i plus plus over here now guys simply we will be having our print statement over here in order to print the multiplication table so we will be having our print ln and then what do we want is this expression that is 5 multiplied by 1 it is equal to 5 in this case so over here the 5 number will be fixed which will be the entered number by the user over here so we will be using this number so we say number and then followed by plus then we have a space character followed by this multiplication symbol and then we have the space character once again so we have double quotes space over here and then followed by star character and then we have space once again and this number is changing every time so initially this is 1 then we have 2 then we have 3 4 5 so this number how we can get this using this i variable which is dynamic in this case since after every iteration over here the i's value will be changing so over here we will be providing i value and then followed by what do we have is we have a space character equal to and then space and then the result of this multiplication so over here we have double quotes followed by space equal to and then we have space character once again and then the result of this multiplication that is number multiplied by i what will be the result over here so we simply have to provide the expression inside the brackets over here so we will say number then multiplied by i over here in this case which will give us the result of the multiplication of these two numbers over here so guys just by using this one print ln statement we will be able to get the entire multiplication table of the number that is entered by the user so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see enter number for multiplication table let's say i provide the number as 5 over here and then when we press enter so as you can see the multiplication table is generated if i expand this console as you can see 5 multiplied by 1 it is 5 then 5 multiplied by 2 it is 10 and so on we are getting all the results over here up to 5 multiplied by 10 which is equal to 50 so guys in this way we can easily write the java program in order to generate the multiplication table over here let's say you want to generate the multiplication table of a very high number so let's say 32 is the number that you want the multiplication table of so let me just run this code once again over here and we simply have to provide 32 as the number and when we press enter then the multiplication table of this entered number that is 32 will be generated so as you can see we have 32 64 96 and then in the end 32 multiplied by 10 it is equal to 320 so in this way we can get the multiplication table of any number based on your requirements guys apart from this 
if you want the multiplication table to extend up to 20 so in this case we have taken the numbers from 1 to 10 only that is i is going from 1 to 10 we can make this as i is going from 1 to 20 so let me just save this file and try running this code now we want to get the multiplication table of let's say the number 15 from 1 up to 20 so we'll press enter over here as you can see we are getting the entire multiplication table that is 15 multiplied by 1 and then we have 15 multiplied by 2 up to we are getting 15 multiplied by 20 so based on your requirements you can provide the number over here in the i variable in order to get the multiplication table up to that number so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get the different output please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is a java program to find the gcd of two numbers so stay tuned